Alright boys, Lil Grimp is back. Let's get some Grimpage. Lil Grimp hype in the building boys. You're not ready for this. You're not ready for this. My name, Lil Grimp. I roast you. I like a shrimp. And speaking of shrimp, you know, I'm a good chef. And if you don't think I'm a chef, well you need to know, my name is Jeff. I spit these balls, Grimp hype, Grimp hype, 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 Grimp, Grimp hype. Hype that, Grimp hype, Grimpage, Grimp hype. To be fair, you have to have a very high IQ to understand Rick and Morty. The humor is extremely subtle, and without a solid grasp of theoretical physics, most of the jokes will go over a typical viewer's head. It's also Rick's nihilistic outlook, which is definitely woven into his characterization. His personal philosophy draws heavily from Naudenaya Folia literature, for instance. The fans understand this stuff. They have the intellectual capacity to truly appreciate the depths of these jokes, to realize that they're not just funny, but they say something deep about life. As a consequence, people who dislike Rick and Morty truly are idiots. Of course, they wouldn't appreciate, for instance, the humor and Rick's existential catchphrase, or our beloved Dub Dub, which itself is a cryptic reference to Turgenev's Russian epic Fathers and Sons. I'm smirking right now, just imagining one of those adulpated simpletons scratching their heads in confusion as Dan Harmon's genius unfolds itself on their television screens. What fools. How I pity them. And yes, by the way, I do have a Rick and Morty tattoo. And no, you cannot see it. It's for the ladies' eyes only. And even I have to demonstrate that they're within 5 IQ points of my own, preferably lower, beforehand. Low Clamp. Rick and Morty. 2017, 2018. New Year. Grim.